You know what I don't like? When I'm watching a YouTube video, I'm getting to the end of it, they're saying their final words, and then the video just cuts to black. There's no YouTube outro, no nothing, just cuts to black, the video is over. Today, we're gonna change that. Hey guys, what's up, it's Bravity, and welcome back to another video here on my channel. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. So like I said in the beginning, we're getting back into the templates, and today we're taking a look at a YouTube outro, more specifically, Ninja's YouTube outro. So instead of your videos just cutting to black at the end, they can look like this. And that's pretty much it. See you later, peace out. So we're gonna be looking at that outro right there that you can head down into the description, download right now, change the colors, change out your logo, customize it, and make it your own. But real quick, before we get into it, I just wanted to say that this template has been requested quite a bit down in the comments on Twitter, but most recently it was requested in the suggestions channel of my Discord. I just wanted to plug it one more time and say that my Discord is now public, and I do have an area where you can suggest video ideas, and I look at that every single week to see if I can come up with some awesome ideas. So make sure you're heading down in the description, accepting the invite into the discord and putting your video ideas into the suggestions channel but then i also wanted to remind you that i try to stream every tuesday and sunday over on twitch twitch.tv forward slash make sure you're hopping down into the description clicking the link and following me over there and catching me in a live stream but without further ado let's get into this template all right guys so here we are inside of after effects this is what the template is going to look like when you open it up you'll see we've got a bunch of comps over here we've got final render your logo here text slash pattern edit and then the color control so here is what the template it looks like you saw it earlier we got the colors flying in and flipping around your logo coming in and then we finish off with the text and the pattern that's kind of moving over here and then that pattern just wipes across the screen like that and takes up the whole screen and then the uh, pattern opens up from the center just like that and removes everything and we go to black but that is a pretty simple YouTube outro and I hope you guys enjoy the animation that's going on here but first off let's change our colors so you probably want to change the colors away from ninja's colors and the way you're gonna do that is head on over here to color control so you've got this awesome color control panel if you click on color controller down here and go up to your effects controls you'll see we've got all three colors that are utilized in this template so if we click the blue maybe change it to a nice green like that the darker blue maybe do a nice dark green like that I would recommend this middle color remaining dark that's kind of your background color that would look good if it was dark and then a nice accent color maybe like a light blue like that so here's our new color so if we head back into final render you'll see that everything live updates just like that so we've now got the green coming in then we've got the lighter blue coming in then they'll switch sides then we fly out and we've got the dark green over here we've got the green diamonds over here so everything is updated and then these bars that sl slide across you see we got the green and blue bars I'm gonna head back into color control and command Z those control Z those back to the normal colors but you see it's really easy to add in whatever colors you want then it's time to replace your logo so you'll see we've got a comp here called your logo here so you can just hide this fake logo or delete it and then just import yours in and just make sure it fits inside of this box here just scale it down if you need to fit your logo in here and then when you head back into final render it'll live update and you'll have your logo here animating in and then animating out like that so that's really easy and then the final thing is if you go to text and pattern edit you'll see we've got this bravdm youtube.com uh, forward slash bravdm this is in a specific font these are in two fonts that you're probably not going to have so you're probably going to get a font error but that's just normal you can just change the font to whatever font you want over here and you can edit these just like a normal text layer so you can have it say Greg if your name's Greg with two G's and then whatever your link is below or you can just take the entire text layer here and just hide it or delete it if you want no text it'd look really cool like that I could actually see why you'd want to delete the text because you want to have your video recommendations sitting here and ninja's video recommendations sit over his text which I think is a little weird so if you just want it to be blank you can do that as well or you can turn it on and change it as well as the pattern here if you want to take away the pattern or change the pattern you could just delete this and add in your own pattern set the mode to overlay like this here and you get your own pattern but if we turn the pattern off you'll see if we come back we've just got two different blues here now instead 
of a pattern. So there's all sorts of stuff you can do to customize this uh, template. But once you've changed your logo, changed the colors, and changed your text here, all you gotta do is export it. So I'm gonna quickly set the in and out points for you guys right here so it starts at the beginning, and then once it opens up just like that, that's where you want your file to end. So I'm gonna add the end point there. That'll be in the template for you, so you won't need to adjust the end point. Just created it for you. So it's time to export. You just wanna make sure you're on the final render composition. Go up to composition and add to render queue. So right here where it says lossless in blue, you just wanna click that and change this from AVI to QuickTime. Now you don't have to do that, but QuickTime's a much smaller and easy to work with file than AVI. So I always change mine to QuickTime and then you wanna change it to RGB plus alpha. This is because you want a transparent background since it opens up and flies over your footage. You need that transparent background, not a black background. So RGB plus alpha and QuickTime, hit okay. And then output two where it says final render. You just wanna click on that in blue and that's where you're gonna be able to name it whatever you want, save it wherever you want. And then you're done there. You just wanna hit render and you are done. But that's pretty much it guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and the template. Once again, make sure you're heading down into the description if you wanna join my Discord or follow me over on Twitch to catch a live stream and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.